Hey guys, Sam from Manfa's Makes. How are you all? Welcome back to all my returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while. And if you like what you see, give me a thummy. They are free. So you have clicked on today because it is that time of the month where I give you my hashtag stash down 2024 numbers, figures, statistics. So if you do not know what hashtag stash down 2024 is, you need to head on over to my Yanni Sisters channel, Queen's Crafts by Bridget. I will link her down below. This is her brainchild. And basically she has been running this for a couple of years now. And basically it's to hold ourselves accountable for using up our stash. Now she is not asking you to go on a yarn diet. Oh no, no, no. You can buy as much or as little yarn as you choose as normal. However, any yarn that you use that you got prior to 2024 can be included in Stash Down 2024 because sometimes you need to use the old to make way for the new. Also, if you have a sizable stash, it really encourages you to go digging around and finding some of those lost gems that you've forgotten all about. And you may just find the perfect yarn for the perfect project along the way. So this isn't for prizes. This isn't really a competition. It is just a way of us documenting how much of our stash that we are using every month. There are no prizes. It is just a look at what I use this month. There are several podcasters joining in. I believe there are a few subscribers joining in as well. And Bridget is putting all of our stash down videos for us podcasters in a playlist over on her channel as well. So if you want to see who else is joining in, you may want to check out that playlist over there. And also, you may want to check out what Bridget is doing just in general. She doesn't just do stash down. She does so, so much more. There is a lot to offer over on Bridget's channel. She is a force to be reckoned with and I absolutely love this idea of stash down because it really does encourage me and motivate me to use up my stash. So I have joined in every month so far this year. Obviously today is May's statistics. Um, so yeah, last month I didn't have a very good month. I didn't get a lot of things completed. That's the other thing. Everybody is different in how they are documenting their stash down. Some people are just collecting the yarn bands of all the skeins that they use up. Other people are calculating the yardage or meterage that they have used. Other people like me are documenting it in weight because I do a lot of smaller projects such as Amigurumi and they never take a whole skein or very rarely. So I only use small amounts of lots of different skeins of yarn and there is no way that I am gonna sit and calculate yardage. I am too lazy for that. Hats off to those that do, but I am not one of those people. So instead, I am waiting until I have an FO, a finished object, and then I am weighing that object to let you know how many grams or ounces I have managed to use up in that month. Now, it does mean that projects overrun into other months, and that is perfectly fine, but I am just waiting until the object is finished. Only when the object is finished do I weigh it and include it in my totals. So some of the projects I may have started in a completely different month, but if I finish it in the current month, it will go in the current month's figures. I hope that makes sense. So over here in the UK, we weigh everything in grams. And I do know that a lot of you across the pond in the US use ounces. So I will give you my totals in grams and then I will give you a total in ounces as well. Now, because last month marked the first third of the year, I gave you a total for the first third. I won't be giving you one of those titles again, uh, total, sorry, again, until May, June, July, 
August and then there will be another one in December but I can tell you that I have used a lot more this month than I did last month. I have had a much better month of using up my stash. Now, I will give you details of a few of my FOs, but there are a couple on the list that I cannot name because they are gifts for people and um, I don't want them to know what that object is. Now, you guys have seen those objects on other videos of mine and I did tell the recipient not to watch that video if they didn't want to see what I had made. But for the purposes of today, I am literally just going to say the two gifts that I made and um, yeah, that way I don't have to ban that person from watching this video as well. So this month I had a total of six finished objects, which isn't bad going considering um, and quite a few of them, at least half of them were bigger projects. So that is what enabled me to get bigger figures this time, guys. So the first gift FO that has gone into May's totals weighed 158 grams. Not too shabby, about a skein and a half. The second gift FO weighed 117 grams so not as heavy but still over one skein a normal skein of, of 100 grams um, which is pretty awesome the third fo was the positive potato that i made for a work colleague of mine and an update on that she was leaving and then she wasn't leaving and now she's leaving again so i am still so glad that i made her that positive potato the difference is she will be at my work for three days of the week and she will be somewhere else for two days of the week. So she's kind of leaving, but kind of not. But I'm still glad she got the positive potato. And that positive potato weighed just an edgy, smidgy, tiny 12 grams because it was only a tiny mate, guys. And that's OK. Every gram counts, right? The next finished object was the first Boggy Creek blanket that I made using Cinnamon Stitches tutorial um, for the Boggy Creek blanket that she put a tutorial out for. It was the white and the pink and grey Picasso blanket. That one weighed 690 grams, so just shy of seven 100 gram skeins. So that one was a good total to have this month. The second big project that made it onto the FO list this month was my magazine makes sweater or jumper that you saw on Monday and that one weighs 784 grams. So that one is quite a weighty project and it's just shy of eight 100 gram skeins so that one is pretty fan dabby dozy and then the final project is one that i have been working on not consistently i can't say that but i have been working on it as and when i can and that is the rainbow hexagons spoiler alert i have finished all of the hexagons now, I will come back on on Friday and show you those because you haven't seen them completed yet. But I did manage to get them all done so that I could include them in my May totals. And plus, guys, just to be completely honest with you, I was fed up of them languishing in a project bag. I needed to get it done so I could feel justified in starting some new whips. So I wanted to clear up some of my older whips, get them done and off my hook so that I can explore some new makes for the future. So the rainbow hexagons, which I am donating to charity, they are six inch hexagons. I did them in seven different colors of the rainbow and I will send them to the charity headquarters where they will join them together and make little baby blankets for rainbow babies. That's why they wanted them done in seven different colours of the rainbow. 
a rainbow baby, if you are not familiar with that term, is a baby born after the loss of a child. So it is a super special thing that they are doing for these super precious and special rainbow babies. And it also acknowledges the baby that was lost also. So I managed to get all of those hexagons done and it should have been 70 hexagons because I can get 10 out of one 100 gram skein of Stylecraft Special DK. However, I must not have had a full skein of the green because I only managed to get nine. So in fact, I did 69 of those six inch hexagons and in total, they weighed 645 grams. Now, the little smidgy bit of scraps left over, I will, of course, put them in my scrap bin and I will try and use them up in projects such as Tile of the Week, because as soon as those tiny little bits of scraps are used up, I can save the yarn bands for the total of yarn bands for the year, which is a video I do at the end of the year to see how many yarn bands I managed to use uh, or how many skeins of yarn I managed to use and then I also total up the yardage at the end of the year. So I could potentially, once I use those scraps, have another seven yarn bands to put in my collection, which is super exciting. So I think a few tiles moving forward will use up those scraps so I can have those yarn bands. So I gave you all of those totals in grams. Now, for those of us that use grams, that means for May, I used a total of 2,406 grams of yarn in just one month. That is amazing. That is just over 24 100 grain, 100 gram skeins. Oh my goodness, I cannot talk today. I do apologize. But for those of you that use ounces, I did convert that. So for just the month of May, I managed to use 84.8 ounces of yarn. And I am super happy with that because that is nearly five times as much yarn as I used last month. So I have smashed it out the park this month. I am super happy, super chuffed. And they are nice big numbers to keep adding to the running total for the year. I cannot wait until I do my final stash down statistics for 2024 so that I know exactly how much stash I have used. Now, also, in between all of these stash projects that I am uh, documenting, I am making other items with non-stash uh, yarn so the new yarns that i've bought this year so there is a lot more crochet going on as well but they cannot be included into these figures because it's yarn bought this year i can't use it because it needs to be yarn that was bought before the beginning of this year so there will be way more yarn bands in my total for the year um and there will be a lot more yardage used this is not the total yarn at all. This is just dash yarn. There is a lot more yarn on top, which is absolutely amazing. And I don't include tile of the weeks in my stash down. I suppose I should because I do use my scraps, um, but I haven't been. So I'm not going to. So we are omitting tile of the week. I should have done it from the start if I was going to, and I haven't. So they're not in these totals, um, but that's okay because I'm happy with my um, figures as they are. So like I said, head on over to Bridget's channel. She will tell you a little more about it. Any one of you can join in at any point. We're getting to the halfway point of the year. So um, maybe you could do it for the last six months of 2024. See how much you can use for the last half of 2024 that would be really awesome it would also show love and support for our lovely Bridget because the more people that join in and get the word out there the more popular this gets um, and I just love hearing everyone else's totals as well because even though it's not a competition and even though there is no prizes to be won the competitive side in me loves hearing other figures to see how well or not I'm doing compared to other people 
One thing that I will say is I don't have one of those knitting machines like a Centro or an Addy. Otherwise, I would be able to bash through my stash a darn sight quicker. Um, but I don't have one of them. All of this yarn that I am documenting has been made with these fair hands of mine. And that is a much slower proce process than a machine. So it makes me feel even prouder because it is all handmade that I am documenting. Anyway, guys, go and show Bridget some love. She is awesome. She has such a lovely variety of content on her channel. Go and check out the others that are doing this as well, just so that you get an idea of who else is joining in and what they are managing to achieve. It really does give me a buzz. It gives me motivation and it makes me happy to know that the beautiful stuff that I have in my stash is getting used and turned into beautiful things because that's the whole point, right? The trouble is, Mamfa keeps being given and buying yarn quicker than she can use it. But hey, that is not a problem to moan at, right? I am a super lucky girl to be able to say that. So there is that side of it. Anyway, guys, please do come back tomorrow for Tile of the Week Thursday. And until then, stay safe, be kind, look after one another, get some good quality time in with your loved ones and get some good quality crafting time in. I will see you in the next one or around the YouTube streets. Bye, guys. Love you loads.